What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer update. We are rolling out daily Manchester City transfer updates for you guys to enjoy this summer. So if you want to stay up to date first and fast with the latest Manchester City transfer news on YouTube, then make sure you have subscribed. Also, don't forget social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. My email also in the description below too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries leave a thumbs up as well if you do enjoy this video 500 likes once more is the aim don't forget as well to let me know your thoughts of what you make of these transfers in the comments below and lastly this video it's sponsored and it's brought to you by one football this video is brought to you by one football if you want to download the one football app all you need to do is press the link at the top of my description which will take you forward to where you can download this app the one football app is extremely useful if you are a huge football fan just like me it provides you with the latest footballing news transfer news and the latest videos as well it is one source of information of where i get my transfer news from it also allows you to see the latest scores with what's happening in the footballing world if you just click on a game including any manchester city game it will not only bring up the latest team news but it will also bring up the latest statistics and keep you up to date with everything happening in that game if you want to download this app all you need to do is press the link at the top of the description to stay up to date thank you very much to one football for sponsoring this video if you want to go and check that out the free one football app then you can go and download that using my link which you can find in the description description anyone that does download one football using that link does help to support the future content created here on my channel it keeps these videos coming for you guys so let's crack on then with this video we're going to start off with the out and we've got an update on Liam Delap now Fabrizio Romano says that Liam Delap he will leave Manchester City this summer Southampton they're interested but they want him on a permanent deal Burnley recently relegated to the championship they want to sign Liam Delap as well but they want him on loan so it's a straight up choice to City want a permanent transfer with a possible buyback clause put in there or do they want to loan him out to the championship see how he gets on for the season and then assess the situation again in 12 months time if it was me if I was in charge I'd be going for the latter be interesting to see which one Manchester City chooses to go for now moving on we've got the latest on Nathan Ake and talks are believed to have intensified between Chelsea and Manchester City for Nathan Ake over the last week or so that's according to Simon Johnson at The Athletic. The fee is believed to be £45 million uh, and Manchester City and Chelsea are trying to get the fee and structure all sorted here that is what the holding up of this deal is that's what's blocking this transfer right now Manchester City do want a line uh, a player lined up as well to replace Nathan Ake before they will sanction the sale of him to Chelsea Ben Jacob says that a fee isn't far off being agreed for the two clubs here to get that sorted but we're still waiting for further clarification on that Chelsea are very busy when it comes to centre-backs and bringing players in. We already know that they're set to sign Kaladu Koulibaly from Napoli for €40 million. Euros. And David Ornstein at The Athletic has also said that Chelsea are in talks for PSG left-sided centre-back Presnel Kimbempe. So, uh, yeah, and it is believed that Chelsea will target both Nathan Ake and Kimbempe from PSG as well. That's both the players, not one or the other. I did have a possible thought process in for this. I did put a tweet out. People have uh, sent me some screenshots, so thank you very much to the people that did do that. It's much appreciated. Answers the question there as to whether Kimbempe was a possible alternative to Ake. It isn't believed to uh, be the case. It's believed that Chelsea want both Kimbempe and Ake for their left side of centre-back and also Kaladu Koulibaly. So lots of signings going on at Chelsea. And speaking of lots of signings, takes us on to Raheem Sterling. Now, earlier on today, Raheem Sterling officially announced that he had left Manchester City. 
very emotional video was posted, very emotional statement was posted by Raheem Sterling as well, and I think I speak on the majority of Manchester City fans when I say that we are going to have, uh, going to miss having a class player like Raz around. He's a brilliant player, he's uh, given his all for Manchester City, and regardless of your opinions on him and his finishing, he has given his all for Manchester City, so I want to personally thank Raheem Sterling for all his efforts that he's put in at Manchester City, and I'm wishing him nothing but the best of luck for the future apart from when he does face Manchester City and to me anyway he's always welcome back at the Etihad with open arms and when we play Chelsea I'll have no problem applauding Raheem Sterling when his name is read out and then at 5 p.m BST today Raheem Sterling was announced as a new signing by Chelsea I have already put my video out if you want to go and uh, pause this video go over to my channel and go and check that out if you so wish with me uh, announcing that transfer but Sterling does sign as a very short summary signs on a five-year contract with the option of a further year at Chelsea he signs for 47.5 million pounds it's two and a half million pounds less than what I would have sold him for but hey ho I'm not in charge at Manchester City so like I said best of luck to Raz for what the future does hold like I said apart from when he plays against Manchester City that is now moving on to the inns we've only got one bit of news for the inns but it is a very interesting one and it's an update on Emilio Lawrence now he's a 16 year old attacking midfielder from Everton he's a very promising young player and the fact that the big six of the Premier League were chasing after his signature Man City Man United Liverpool Chelsea Arsenal Tottenham all want to sign him that tells me that he's a very promising highly regarded player with bags of potential and we knew that Manchester City were favourites to sign him however the football insider have said that Man City have now taken that one step further and have have agreed to sign him there was no mention of what the compensation package was going to be or the contract length or how he's going to be utilized at Manchester City whether it'd be in the under 18s or in the elite development squad the EDS squad or potentially I mean it does happen 16 17 year olds could be used by the first team we'll have to see with what uh, is going to happen uh, with regards to that it might even be a loan who knows I'm going to keep my eyes and ears peeled on that one but definitely a name to look out for in the future and believed to be very close now to joining Manchester City so there we go that has been the video I hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy this video leave a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed this video 500 likes is the aim so any help towards that would be much appreciated also don't forget as well to let me know what you think of these transfers in the comments below including your well wishes for Raheem Sterling uh, also don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel daily Manchester City transfer content coming for you guys to enjoy throughout the whole summer transfer window so if you want to stay up to date with uh, Manchester City transfer news every single day then do make sure you have subscribed the go-to channel for Manchester City transfer news this summer also don't forget as well social media links they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram my email also in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries do go and check out today's video sponsor as well One Football. link in the description go and click that link that'll take you to the download page to to download the three one football app anyone that does download one football using my link does help support the future content created here on my channel it does keep these videos coming for you guys so any interaction towards that would be much appreciated by me one football will keep you up to date this summer with all the latest transfer news for manchester city and everyone else around the world as well so go and check that out if you haven't done so already yes it's red okay it says brugger it's from bruges not Manchester United, so let's people will be going for the uh, red lightsaber as well. Uh, who doesn't like the dark side of the force? So <laughs> I'm sure the comments will be dominated by that. Uh, but I'll see you again tomorrow for the next Daily Manchester City transfer update. I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.